Next one is we recently, I think last week, wrapped out our um, New Zealand International Film Festival. Um, James and I both saw around about 10 movies each. Mm -hmm. Um, So, James, what were your top three favorite films? Not the films that you think are the best, but your just personal favorite films of this film festival for us. My favorites, eh? Favorites. Can start from three, two, one. Three, two, one. Um, I, I still haven't made up my mind, honestly. Oh, um, then just spitball, your three favourites. Spitball. Oh, yes. Okay. I got it. Mm-hmm. My list. Are oh, you uh, going to rank them? I'm going to rank them. Awesome. I think it makes it more fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little bit, little bit more juicy. <laughs> At number three, it breaks my heart to put this one so low. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's funny because I saw this being um, advertised on IGN, the the first trailer released, and they were posting about it, and people were talking about it. I'm like, wow! Now, now that I've seen this movie, people are going to start talking about it. I thought it'd be hidden forever. I think people will talk about it after they see the movie too. Yeah, I, this movie, it, it's such a fun time. Um, it's <laughs> it's all kinds of fucked up. It's very weird, uh, but it's actually quite good, and it, it's. I'm not going to say it's like a horror or a thriller. It's kind of just a weird blend of mixture and you kind of just... Comedy, horror, thriller. Yeah, you have all these kind of different emotions and, and feelings while watching it. Like it's sometimes it's, it's funny, but it's cringe and then it's weird and then it's kind of um, sad and you just kind of go through all this kind of like all these emotions and then by the end of it, you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. And it, 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 as far as movie experiences go... I think Good Boy was, you know, definitely up there. Probably one of the biggest uh, movie experiences of that film festival. So that's why I put it so high. Um, second, Past Lives. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's actually it was actually really hard to rank these because a top five would have been a lot easier. Um, but at second place, I got Past Lives. I thought this movie was brilliant. It's not a movie that hit me straight away. It's a movie that kind of it, it took its time to really, for me to get a, a bit of appreciation from it. Once I started thinking about it and thinking about how the movie transpired and kind of the, the deeper meanings to it, and especially what um, Celine Song was saying to us at the Q&A, uh, yeah, it's just um, one that's really grown on me. And I just, I really love almost every element of the movie. And I think it's such a, such a real human story, which is what I really like as well. Um, and at number one, uh, <laughs> my number one is May, December. Um, I think this is by far and away the best one of the film festival for me. Uh, in terms of just quality, it was the most interesting. It's the one that I feel like I could talk about and discuss with somebody for the most, um, for the, for the longest amount of time. I think the characters are interesting. It's it's written. Um, it, it's very compelling in the way it's written. Um, yeah, I th- I th- the acting it's it's a powerhouse from three different actors there: um, Charles Mountain, Julian Moore, and Nelly Portman are all just phenomenal in it. I think the directing is really good as well. I think the editing is is strong and how it lays out and balances the story. And yeah, just it's it's it's, it's kind of like its own version of fucked up, but it's like. It's it's really good, and I think it has a bit of a better payoff than like something what like Good Boy did, and may not be the emotionality that Past Lives has, but it has that kind of very interesting um, element where you kind of peel back the the layers on these characters in the story and discuss it a little bit deeper than something like Past Lives. Yeah. So yeah, that is my ranking. It's, it's good good list. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. What are yours? <laughs> Mine. Well, for me, number three is past lives. Nice. I couldn't relate to it as much as other people because, you know, I didn't have that sort of connection of what the, or I couldn't understand that connection of um, how the film played out because I've never been in that situation, but I could definitely. Us. <laughs> but I could. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I just had to include that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> but I could definitely feel the emotion in it, especially yeah. in that last scene, you know, because like it was being teased about this certain character mm-hmm. not doing this certain something, and at the end they actually do it, and you're just really 
impacts you so much because you're like, oh, you're feeling this emotion from her. Mm. Um, that you start to feel it as well. Yeah. Um, and I think the acting in it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, both the main character and the husband, and mm -hmm. even the um childhood sweetheart as well. They all did fantastic as well. And Celine Song's um direction, cinematography, and screenplay was fantastic as well. And the score yeah. was great. So I think that that's why I really enjoyed it. Yeah, fair enough. Number two for me was How to Have Sex. Oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, I think I really enjoyed that film because it was, I wasn't expecting the message to be what it showed, mm, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah. I didn't expect the movie to go into that sort of route. Yeah. And it actually had, like, a good and um, message to say, mm -hmm. you know, um, not that it's a good message, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, yeah. It, like, I thought the way that it was played out, you know, was very... Very great. I mean, I've never mm -hmm. walked out of a movie with a hangover before, but this, oh. this is definitely one. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think also because the music selection is um, right up my alley um, mm -hmm. with EDM, and I think most of the songs in there was pretty much what I listened to, so I think I could connect it with it more. Yep. I think the uh, main actress in it was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, haven't seen her in anything else, and I definitely hope she's in a lot more stuff because I think she has a lot of potential as a future actress as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my, num yeah. my number one favorite was River. River, wow. It was River, Whoa. yeah. <laughs> I really like yeah. the concept of it. So it's basically like it's basically like mm. Groundhog Day, except, except off, instead of a day, it's every two minutes. Yeah. Um, and I think like yeah. the whole cast was just fantastic to watch. It was very enjoyable to watch. The comedy yeah. was really funny at some times. Mm -hmm. um, there's a particular scene where a guy experiments because he knows he's going to Oh. Um, he knows that time's going to come back for him and it's just hilarious to watch everyone's yeah. reactions and then him explain his reasoning for it and everyone's reactions from that it's really good and I really like the whole how it resets every two minutes and every two mm. minutes you get something different Yeah, you know it just like each two minutes is with different characters and then same characters but different characters within those two characters Yeah. Um, so I thought I've yeah I've really enjoyed it. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, it is brilliant in its own way. Yeah. For that movie, uh, though, I think the, the ending was just a little bit yeah. too goofy. It kind of just threw me out of it a bit. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's probably what I, I was thinking, too. I think mm. the ending was it leaned, well, it is a sci-fi sort of film, but it was a bit too far in sci-fi. Yeah. Um, but everything before that was fantastic. And it's nice to see, like, a time loop movie where it's not just based on a day and resets and it's only focused on one particular character. Mm. Like this whole entire region was affected and yeah. we saw everyone's reactions to this and everyone losing their minds. Makes it so much more interesting, eh? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. If, if you had to put a top five in there, because I think How to Have Sex and River would round out my top five, mm -hmm. possibly continuing with Anatomy of a Fall, not Monster. Um, yeah, what, what do you think would make those final two spots? Final two spots. Do I either rank them or just just chucking ideas? I think Good Boy will be in there, mm -hmm. and I think Monster will sneak in there as well. Monster, am yeah. yeah, interesting. Yeah, definitely not reality. Movies are one of the highest rated movies of the year, man. Yeah, I, I know. You gotta I, love it. I know what it's, but I just I just couldn't get into it. When's I tried best so hard. picture? If it does, I'll be like, wow, this is like the best picture that I just had zero interest in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. We've shared our top three off the New Zealand Film Festival. It was a good program, though, that they ran. Because it was. Now looking at it, there's a, at least eight there that I like. Yeah, and it was good. good. And it's a big film festival for us as well, considering it's like the first one since um, 2019 was our last one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and it's then, been a while. Yeah, so yeah. The, um, you could clearly see that the um, organizers had so much fun doing it and were very passionate with their film selections as well. And yeah, it translated to their... What was, well. what was your worst one, Will? I want to I wanna get, your, get your take on this. Oh, the, the film... Oh, from the film festival, sorry, yeah. That I don't like? Yeah. Hi, oh, what do we see? So there is reality. We've got Loop Track, um, Fallen Leaves, that hasn't been mentioned either. Anatomy of a Fall. I liked um, Anatomy of Fall and Loop mm. Track. So it's reality. May, December for you, potentially. And Fallen no, Leaves. I, I can respect um, May, December, and there were elements of it I did, I did, I did like. <laughs> I think 
as bored as I was in um, reality, I think Fallen Leaves takes takes the one I didn't enjoy the most, just because nothing really sticked. You know, these characters didn't have a connection. You couldn't see it. The jokes were bad. The acting was so bland at sometimes as well when they're trying to make a joke. It was just, it was just, it felt so forceful. And I don't know why it's getting so much like praise. Hundred. Mm-hmm. Percent, man. Yeah, is that, is that yours as well? Fallen Leaves would be the worst yeah. one. You know, I didn't like that movie. I came out of it very strongly afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually really like everything else that we saw. Honestly, yeah. yeah, they're all very good in their own ways. Yeah, even if reality is slow. Yeah, yeah. luckily yeah. it's short. Thank God it was short. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's also because the Warriors are playing that day, and uh, my mind was set on that because I was actually going to go to that game. Imagine how much um you would like. Good boy, if that wasn't Warriors time either. No, because I actually watched it, so it was fine. Oh, afterwards. Huh? Afterwards. What do you mean afterwards? Because we watched it during the game. Oh, yeah, but I still got to see some, some oh, of the right. game, so I knew how the game was going to play out. Yeah. Just so bitter of not seeing the Warriors. He hates a movie. <laughs> like, fuck reality. <laughs> you deprived me of my one true, like, hobby. <laughs> All right, guys, that's enough memeing and enough 